What's one misconception about you? There are no misconceptions about me. Sean Diddy Combs awaits a federal trial following his high-profile indictment last month. While many celebrities stood idly by Diddy over the years... I love Diddy. You know he's a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. Others raised concerns about his alleged crimes years or even decades ago. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes, I do. Why? I mean, look at his rap sheet. <laughs> Run as fast as Cassie did! One of his most vocal critics is 50 Cent, who has had a long-standing feud with Diddy. And I'm the only one who's been vocal about this long before it actually... Oh, you've been saying this for, for a long time now. 50 Cent is even creating a docu-series for Netflix titled Diddy Do It, focusing on the assault and sexual abuse allegations. That's why I don't be going to the puffy parties. He has also repeatedly insinuated that Combs was involved in the 1997 murder of Tupac Shakur. I told you, I told you, you can't trust these. Puffy done killed Tupac, man. The spotlight has also shifted to Justin Bieber as a potential victim of the music mogul. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone telling me they love me and just turn their back on you in a second. Diddy mentored a 15-year-old Bieber, who allegedly attended Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, where much of the alleged abuse took place. And he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> Neither Diddy nor Bieber have commented on the matter, but that hasn't stopped the internet from running wild. Where we hanging out and what we doing, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Some celebrities have hinted at the debauchery behind closed doors at these notorious parties, with many wondering who else may have been complicit. You're going to hear about my party, they're going to be shutting them down, they're going to probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. Years before accusations cast his parties in a criminal light, Diddy's bashes were packed with stars from Jay-Z and Beyonce to former President Trump. I also didn't go to those parties. Yeah. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated to a degree. It's no surprise that many of these celebrities have tried to distance themselves amid the allegations, while others have remained silent. You throw a great party. I'm a legend, baby, for a whole bunch of things. If you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors? <laughs> okay, this Let's... is sounding kind of dangerous now. Of course, the legal troubles first escalated with Cassie Ventura's 2016 lawsuit. As other allegations surfaced, CCTV footage released in 2024 showing Combs assaulting Cassie became the final nail in the coffin. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. The music mogul now finds himself in a jail notorious for its appalling living conditions. Sean Diddy Combs is a billionaire. He achieved billionaire status in 2022. He is not going to be happy being in jail. And this is a far cry from his multi, multi-million dollar homes all across this country. As Diddy awaits his federal trial, he also faces the possibility of new civil lawsuits. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. Attorney Tony Busby has stated that 120 people plan to sue Diddy, alleging that he exploited and sexually abused them. We will pursue this matter no matter who the evidence implicates. Mr. Combs is a fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent and he's going to clear his name. The music mogul denies all allegations and has pleaded not guilty to three felony charges. 